Good, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, so we will start with presentation uh, after our Q4, Q3 uh, results. So let me start with uh, with a short um, update about key things uh, which happened during K20, uh, third quarter of 24. So again, uh, another uh, very strong quarter for payment business. As um, similar as it was Q1, Q2, this is a uh, uh, leading business uh, business unit uh, in Q3. Uh, this time, uh, year over year, a bit growth again, mostly by uh, e-commerce and processing, but ver also very strong uh, possibly related services thanks to uh, equipment deliveries which uh, happened in uh, Spain and uh, and uh, Latin countries. Uh, Q3 was still weak in dedicated solutions, uh, but uh, uh, sorry, I think I was not sharing uh, not sharing slides. I hope you can see see them now. Uh, so uh, Q3 st uh, was still weak in dedicated sol solutions, but we see a slight uh, slight improvement versus Q2, and results were at least positive. A backlog uh, for for uh, for Q4 it looks uh, better than than in the previous quarters. Um, I will show more more details uh, later. But but it it is um, good uh, good prediction for for coming uh, coming quarter. As for oper operating cash flow, uh, it improved after um, after first half of. Uh, of this year, it was uh, it was uh, weak, but still it is uh, below the level uh, the level which uh, which satisfactory for us, and and we hope it uh, it will uh, improve when the re receivables will be uh, will be collected. Uh, it is uh, another quarter uh, quarter when. Uh, Euro uh, Euro figures are better than than those uh, presented in uh, Polish zloty, and this is um, the reason is the same. This is due to stronger Polish zloty by around six percent, comparing to Q1 Q3 uh, 2023. And uh, a few details about uh, transactional business in uh, in payment business uh, unit. So in e-commerce, amount of uh, transactions which we processed uh, through our payment gateways increased by almost 30 percent and uh, re exceeded 600 uh, 600 million during Q3. Uh, in IPD, a smaller volume, uh, 88 million, but uh, good dynamics, uh, more than 30 percent growth year over years. And in physical uh, transactions processing, so um, transactions all. Uh, on POSs and uh, ATMs, here 100, almost 30 uh, million uh, transactions and 22% growth year over year. So as you see, this um, transactional recurring business is uh, growing uh, nicely uh, during all, all three quarters uh, this year. So a uh, few words about uh, deals, um, new deals concluded in uh, during uh, uh, third quarter. Uh, similar names of products as, as, as in previous quarters, uh, Tesauri uh, for bank in Bosnia, uh, BAPO core, core system implementation also for bank in Bosnia, our new product open banking uh, for a bank in Moldova. Uh, then we have implementation uh, of INACT anti-fraud uh, anti uh, solution for a new payment facilitator and some, uh, some additional deliveries uh, based on adaptive elements for banks in, uh, in Croatia. When talking about dedicated solutions here, um, we have um, two two bigger projects in area of BPM. Uh, one for a transportation company in Croatia, where office point and capture point solutions are uh, will be delivered, and um, first phase of uh, ER archiving solution solution uh, for uh, for central agency in uh, in Serbia. Uh, we have also. Uh, 
lots of projects for implementing app protectors, uh, mobile application uh, re uh, related to security uh, of of, uh, of applica mobile applications, and a uh, few few extensions and new clients in Turkey for Dynatrace uh, subscription. This is the only third party solution we are mentioning, but the, this nicely growing uh, recurring uh, business. Uh, let's move to Payton, and in Payton e-commerce e in processing, we have uh, uh, we have payment gateway um, uh, for for few merchants from different uh, different uh, in industries like pharmacy, telecom, uh, charging st uh, station, or, or tourist agency. We also uh, had some uh, implement project for implementation on the, of fintech suite. This is a prepackaged solution for for fintechs, and we uh, we implement it to newly created payment facilitator company in uh, in Turkey. Uh, and also a payment gateway a redesign of a payment uh, payment page payment solution for uh, for one of banks in uh, in Turkey. For a more traditional uh, business of POSA and ATMs, uh, we have uh, various uh, projects for delivery of uh, of devices, of course connected with future support and maintenance. Uh, and also extension of uh, outsourcing um, outsourcing uh, projects of ATMs for for to to banks in Serbia and new outsourcing um, uh, client in Montenegro for ATMs. This is important uh, as this this builds us or prolong us a recurring revenue for for next uh, years. And in uh, in area of um, Independent networks of POS, so IPD or um, electronic cash, cash registers, uh, ACRs. We have new uh, new clients in Croatia, Romania, Bosnia, and Serbia, and for ECRs in Croatia and um, and Bosnia. So oh, um, this uh, this uh, and this is it for uh, for deals. And let's move uh, to Q3 uh, Q3 results. Uh, I think you are familiar with uh, with um, our presentation, but uh, to recall first two uh, columns are uh, figures as they are presented in our financial statements. So total numbers, including hyperinflation, uh, hyperinflation booking and uh, um, following two columns are after eliminating effect of hyperinflation uh, accounting. And I will focus mostly on on those numbers, excluding hyperinflation, as this is how we we also do monitor uh, results. So uh, revenues uh, mm, here we have mm, pretty strong growth by twenty four percent year over year, mm, and uh, more or less half of this growth was generated by own activities, mostly thanks to payments, e commerce, uh, and merchant business. And second half was Again, thanks to payments uh, business unit mostly, but uh, in POS and ATM, and it is related to with deliveries of of equipment which happened during Q3. You will see more in a moment on separate slide. On operating profit level, a nice a nice growth in euro uh, euro figures, 18% year over year. In Polish Zloty, it's less, it's 12, uh, due to the reason which I mentioned, so uh, stronger Polish Zloty this, uh, this year. And below uh, operating profit, uh, in, um, in net profit, uh, the growth here over here is, is pretty si similar, only 1% difference. And this is, um, like, what are the reasons? Yes, uh, financial activity, Pretty, pretty, pretty similar um, uh, balance. 100k uh, higher result in the, in this line, mainly uh, due to three uh, three reasons. Positive one is a result uh, on restatement uh, restatement of contingent and put liabilities uh, revaluation, mostly on put uh, put options part where we have. 
reversal of bit hat uh, related liability and BSTS. And uh, this is 1.7 million uh, euro. On the other hand, we uh, we have dividend uh, uh, from our subsidiary BS, uh, BSTS. Uh, uh, and this entity is consolidated user, using present ownership method. And uh, in this case, dividend in amount um, uh, assigned to uh, minority shareholders lent as cost of uh, financial cost of the group. So we have 1 million euro hit in PNL due to this dividend to uh, to minority shareholder and then balance of uh, uh, um, foreign exchange gain and losses is uh, is lower by half a million uh, year over year Mo mainly due to uh, due to turkish operations and uh, less uh, devaluating lira than, than it used to be in uh, in last year when talking about taxes income taxes effective tax rate adjusted effective tax rate when we exclude from cal calculation those items which are uh, uh, not related with taxes like dividend uh, paid to minority uh, and um, uh, yeah, this dividend paid to minority. Uh, th then this effective tax rate is uh, is on pretty similar level. It's uh, less than one percent uh, difference year over year. Uh, okay, so let's move to uh, to to segments. Uh, as you can see on this uh, on this um, uh, slide, in in banking profitability year over year is pretty flat. Also, when we look at absolute, absolute numbers, uh, revenues slightly lower, and uh, operating profit on the same uh, on the same level. So um, this looks good. Um, when we were at the beginning of year, we we were worried that uh, that um, this year might be more challenging for banking, uh, and we expected some some. Uh, uh, drops, but uh, it looks like um, we are able to to uh, to keep um, keep uh, the level of last uh, last year. The structure of business inside changed. Uh, uh, comparing to Q3 23, we have uh, a bit higher results in area of core systems and lower in uh, in channels uh, channel solutions. Uh, Dedicated solutions, so second line, which is within um, this asset part. Uh, here we have growth of revenues, almost two million euro higher revenues, but uh, uh, but not uh, on result. Yes. So in in this revenues growth, more or less one third is related with. Uh, ICE, so um, uh, advanced infrastructure services and uh, and uh, simply resell of third party solutions. Uh, and here we have situation that uh, we have growth of revenues in, in Bosnia related to uh, intelligent traffic uh, solutions. And uh, this infrastructure part generates big revenues, but with uh, with uh, only low minor uh, margin one. So, so uh, margin one is the difference between uh, revenues and cost of goods sold. Um, on other hand, in in ICE in uh, in Serbia, due to delay in in signing new projects, we we have drop of revenues and um, and both um, uh, revenues and margin one. So, so effectively, we have situation that revenues are growing, but this margin one not necessary. Uh, in second part of dedicated solutions, so cast part uh, where we deliver our own solutions and then uh, services, uh, we have slight growth of uh, of uh, revenues, but uh, in big extent it's related with consolidation of uh, of uh, dwelt in in Bosnia, uh, which uh, uh, which was not in the group last year, but. Uh, Due to delay, delays in uh, in signing of new project, it, not, it does not generate uh, generate margin uh, in terms uh, on the on the level of uh, of habit. And additionally, we in the cost of 
of this segment, we have depreciation of uh, assets recognized during purchase price allocation, which, which hits uh, operating profit. And payment. Uh, in payments, a very a big growth of revenues, more than 18 million euros. So as I mentioned, it's almost whole growth of, uh, of revenues on, on the level of group. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, uh, growth is in all four business lines. Biggest uh, in e-commerce and processing, and similarly as it was in previous two, uh, two quarters, mostly Turkey and Western Europe are the contributors to, to this growth, in lower extent Croatia and Serbia. But also we have effect of consolidating uh, India and the United Emirates uh, entities, which we acquired in the beginning of, uh, of July, and they contributed around 1.8 million euro to, uh, to revenues. And merchant business, so ECRs and IPD, pretty nice growth, 1.3 million euro. It's more again most uh, mostly Croatia uh, and in um, lower uh, amount uh, Czechia and Slovenia, so similar as previous uh, quarters. For AT ATMs, uh, not bad, uh, bad quarter, uh, four million growth of um, revenues, mostly thanks to thanks to ATM deliveries in Serbia, Romania, Croatia. Uh, and in terms of independent uh, ATM network, um, uh, higher revenues in Croatia, Albania, and, and Montenegro. And POSs, um, as you might remember, uh, first half of the year was not, not spectacular for this line. We have a drop of uh, revenues, but uh, this quarter it looks nice, uh, a nice almost 6 million euro higher revenues, mostly thanks to deliveries of Android POSs in Western Europe and in LATAM, uh, LATAM region. What is uh, for us important is uh, structure of operating profit. As you see, this is another quarter where we have e-commerce plus ECRs and IPD over 50% of uh, of results. So okay, the share is not that big as yes, it was in Q2, but it is not um, uh, due to drop of result on those lines. Simply better results more uh, in POSs and uh, and ITMs. Uh, and a few words about geographies and structure of result by, by countries. So as you see, we changed uh, the slide a bit. Uh, we, uh, we believe this way we, we can better uh, present how diversified is, is uh, our group. Uh, so it's not, despite we, we are ASEC of Southeastern Europe, it's not only Southeastern Europe. Uh, as you see, Southeastern Europe is uh, um, slightly below 11 million euro out of 15. So already almost one, one third is, uh, is uh, from other uh, geographies. Uh, Two most uh, successful countries and contrib contributing most to the growth are uh, Turkey, 1.5 million euro higher result, this is thanks to e-commerce, and Western Europe, uh, 1.4 million euro uh, growth year over year. Again, thanks to payment, but here we have two components, POSs and uh, the deliveries, which I, uh, which I have mentioned a moment ago, and, uh, and e-commerce as well. So it looks very, very nice. Uh, we are so satisfied. As you see, also India, uh, India, India uh, contributes uh, positively to, together. India and Dubai, which is in separate line, it's, uh, it is um, around 580,000 euro for um, for first quarter we consolidated. So pretty, pretty good, uh, uh, good start. For um, our uh, original region, so, so Southeastern South Europe, um, overall results are slightly higher, 300k more, uh, uh, mostly thanks to Croatia as, as biggest contributor to, to the growth. Or also those other countries, mostly, most, uh, mostly Albania and, and Slovenia are pretty, pretty nice. But we are struggling in uh, in Bosnia, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Here, in results, um, we, um, 
uh, we have a cost of uh, depreciation of uh, new PPAs, the same mention. We recognize um, assets related to billing solution and we do depreciate them. But the projects which uh, on which we are counting, they, they have not started yet and we, we don't have this, this second side of uh, we, we generate uh, generate results to cover this uh, this depreciation. And Central Europe, the you hear also 700k lower results year over year, and this is mostly to the dedicated solutions again, uh, but in this uh, third part uh, solutions based part. Uh, so um, so I. So this is about uh, Q3 results, and let's have a short look how it looked uh, after three quarters uh, cumulated. Um, revenues 11% year over year growth. Uh, three thirds of this growth is on activities, uh, on activities uh, mostly in payment business uh, unit. Operating profit slightly positive, plus uh, plus one percent. In Polish of course, negative due to, to the same reason. And net profit is slightly lower than previous year, two, uh, two percent points uh, below, due to financial activity. Uh, due to financial activity, so it's uh, on uh, which uh, balance is uh, slightly below, above one million euro lower than, than in previous year, mostly due to uh, uh, Lower positive exchange gains uh, uh, gains in PNR. Yes, last year um, uh, Turkey generated more than than this year. Uh, additionally, we have dividends to minorities. Uh, in Q3, only it was one million uh, accumulated. Is 1.3 million because on top of ABS we have also Avera and Helios minority dividends. Uh, and it was compensated uh, partially, but by um, reversal of or update of put uh, put liabilities. But it was um, this reversal was around 1.5 million, so so it's not enough to cover uh, those other uh, drops. Effective tax rate after after those adjustments, so excluding non non tax related uh, costs in PNL, uh, it's uh, it's really flat year over year. The, the difference is below um, uh, 0 0.5 um, percentage point, like 0 0.3 or 4. Uh, this is about results. Uh, let's have a look at um, at segments again. I would say pretty similar uh, picture as Q3 uh, only. Very strong payment, uh, almost 27 million euro growth, so majority of revenues growth, and uh, almost 8 million euro growth of operating profit with improved profitability. And this improvement of profitability is thanks to change in structure of business. So. Uh, as I commented for Q3, this this is also visible on Q1, Q3. Uh, we have a very big increase in e-commerce and processing. And uh, on the other hand, in this traditional POS business, uh, we have flat revenue, uh, pretty flat uh, pl flat revenues. Uh, so uh, no increase in deliveries, which which dilute uh, dilute profitability. And uh, for Q, Q3 uh, only, the share of operating profit of e-commerce and processing was slightly above uh, 50 percent. Here, as you see, it's it's more 50, uh, 57 uh, percent. Coming back, uh, banking uh, uh, is um, slightly growing uh, in uh, after three three quarters, 400k higher operating profit. So, um, around 1 million euro higher uh, uh, revenues uh, with uh, change of uh, of structure of uh, of uh, revenues in accumulated three three uh, three quarters results less core solutions and uh, more channel uh, channel solution and the last uh, 
uh, dedicated solutions. So this is this um, problematic line this year, uh, which we are not happy about. Uh, so, uh, Revenues they are slightly uh, slightly higher, uh, but operating profit significantly uh, below. But we have to hear this mix. We have a lower value of third party revenues, so it decrease um, uh, decrease um, revenues without big impact on uh, operating profit. We think that, but not very huge. But on the other hand, we have uh, we we miss uh, own uh, own services as well, own project, especially in area of billing and and road um, road solutions. Of course, in Q2 we had uh, one of uh, write offs books in dedicated solutions on one telco projects and uh, write off on, of one asset. It was 2.3 million euro, but it doesn't explain the uh, the result. Even after adjusting for those write offs, uh, it will be very uh, very weak. So, a few words about um, uh, countries. The same form of the of the slide, uh, and as you see, after three, three quarters share of this non-CE geographies in uh, total EBIT excluding amortization of PPAs, it's uh, around 38%, so quite quite a big um, uh, part. And uh, this part is the, the biggest contributor to growth, yes, um, uh, specifically Turkey and Western Europe. Uh, Turkey 4.3 million higher uh, results, Western Europe 1.7. And uh, uh, this is very, very, very good performance in uh, Central Europe, 2.1 million euro lower result. We have part of this right row, right of which I mentioned um, in this geography. Uh, but uh, on top of this um, weak performance in dedicated solution uh, overall lack of uh, lack of projects, uh, especially those uh, third party ones. Uh, and in uh, uh, in southeastern Europe uh, region, Bosnia, Bosnia and Herzegovina, and Serbia. These are two geographies which uh, which uh, have drop of result. In Serbia, this is re related to um, again with dedicated solution, and um, somehow it's related with. Uh, Elections which did uh, took place this um, this year, then uh, forming government it took uh, quite long. It was uh, um, created last day allowed. Uh, uh, so the uh, government was formed, ministries uh, are in place, uh, but still, um, still. Uh, Projects are not uh, uh, not started. Yes, uh, so so there is um, still delay in this. We hope this to be improved uh, in Q4, but uh, but uh, yeah, after three quarters, it looks like uh, like it is. So this is about Serbia, and in Bosnia, uh, we had uh, here this uh, big part of write-off from Q2, 1.7 million. Without this, the the, the the drop wouldn't be so uh, so uh, so big. And um, but here we have also challenge of missing project, especially in in area of telco. Uh, the the, this, the concluding of projects is prolonged, and and they, they have not started uh, yet. So this is about um, results and few words uh, about um, cash, net cash situation. So as you see, our net cash comparing to end of last year is 55 million euro lower. Um, and basically we have here uh, four or five reasons for this. Um, one, of course, we pay dividends, yes. Uh, we pay dividends and our subsidiaries uh, pay dividends. So, so we have funds for, for our dividend. But part of cash it goes out of the group uh, to minorities, and this in total is 21.6 million euro. We have also spendings on M&As. Uh, during first three quarters, um, uh, they were uh, around 21 million euro. But looking from net cash per perspective, some of the liabilities which were settled, they were uh, on balance sheet, so in uh, in net cash. But uh, we have also the part related to new acquisitions, and this around 11 million euro. 
which was uh, spending um, um, spending and like new decrease of uh, of net net cash, so, so around eleven million. Also, in lease liabilities, uh, uh, we have almost nine million euro of new uh, new or amended um, lease contracts uh, included. Uh, I mean, liability resulting from uh, from the new or amended lease contracts in amount of almost nine million euro. Then um, we have, uh, of course, spending of on capex, and uh, spending on capex was around. Uh, 12 million euro, uh, 13, uh, 13, almost 13 million euro. And in terms of this uh, other general capex, like um, computers, office, cars, uh, this is pretty similar as last year. No, nothing extraordinary around 4 million euros of, uh, after three quarters. But this uh, in, uh, project related uh, capex, so infrastructure for outsourcing projects and no, on uh, on networks, it, it increased significantly. It, is, it was 9 million euro uh, after three quarters. Last year it was five. And this is related with, on uh, one hand, those new projects. Uh, and second, um, the phase where we are in, uh, in outsourcing projects, we are extending them, prolonging for new, uh, for another years. But it requires after a few years um, uh, replacement of hardware to, to the new one. So around 13 million euro expenditures on CapEx and uh, positive impact of operating cash flow, um, cash flow around 12.7 million euro. I will comment cash flow in a moment uh, a bit more. And uh, coming to net cash, the last uh, reason uh, reason for for change, like material reason for for change, is impact of deferred and contingent payments. Uh, so as I, men uh, as I mentioned, we paid around uh, 10 million euro out of those from previous year, which were on balance sheet. But uh, we included in or booked uh, new, new uh, liabilities in amount around 15 million euro. Out of this 15, around nine are simply reclasses from long uh, long term liabilities to short term because uh, the uh, date when uh, minorities can execute put options are now below one uh, one year. And uh, this forces us to, to book those 9 million in short term liabilities. Will they execute the right or not? This is another uh, another topic, and uh, but uh, it's out of our control. As, uh, so, so we need to, to put this uh, in short term. And on uh, around 6 million uh, liabilities uh, uh, is result of new acquisitions which were concluded during during Q, uh, Q3 uh, 2024. So overall, um, net cash uh, dropped by uh, 55 million euro. And coming back, uh, back to cash flow. Uh, so before I will switch uh, slide, as you see here, we paid ba uh, back a lot. Uh, we paid a lot of liabilities, um, but uh, we haven't collected that much of uh, receivables. And so in general, impact on operating cash flow is around 30 million euro. Half of this, this is Serbia. Mm. Uh, and um, here we have uh, two parts. Uh, one which is related with past. This is what happened uh, end of last year. As you see, last year we had very good cash flow and uh, cash conversion and end of the uh, year. Uh, a bit uh, the conversion to operating cash flow was above 100 percent, and this. Um, this uh, resulted we, uh, from the prepayments which we received from clients in Serbia and Romania. It was in total around 10, 10 million euros. So we received cash, but we paid to our suppliers because it was related with third party business uh, next year in, in 24. So this 10, 10 million is something what, uh, what uh, will affect this, this year cash flow until year, uh, year end. So out of this 30 million, let's say um, 10 million, but rest we hope to, uh, to be improved uh, during Q4. 
already in Q3 cash flow slightly increased because uh, after uh, after the uh, first half of the year conversion was one digit. Uh, I don't remember exactly six seven percent. Now it's twenty four, so it looks better. Accumulated uh, accumulated uh, last twelve months uh, conversion is seventy two percent. Okay, last year is not not good uh, comparison, but 22 and previous 21 and, tw uh, and 2020, it was around 80 80 plus uh, conversions. So we hope that that, that next quarter it will uh, uh, it will improve. And about next quarter and outlook for until end of the year, um, as I already mentioned, backlogs they are better than uh, than previously. Uh, so on total asset plus pay patent uh, backlog for Q4 is 15% higher than last year. In uh, in uh, asset part it is seven uh, seven. Per percent uh, percent um, higher only to recall in uh, after q1 or uh, before uh, during presentation for um, for year and when we presented backlog for q1 it was ne negative in as part minus minus four yes now it's plus seven and in Python again very very strong uh, strong and big increase so 20 22 percent growth here over year of backlog Good. So, so this is um, this is how uh, how it looks. In general, we are positive. We believe that this um, uh, next quarter should uh, should be uh, should be good. Good, and we are heading in good uh, good direction. Uh, let's see how how finally uh, um, the year will close. Um, the, the the question mark is dedication dedicated solutions and how fast um, those projects uh, on which we are counting will be uh, tenders will be open and uh, and um, uh, offers analyzed collected analyzed and and uh, winners selected and this uh, we hope it will accelerate and will help to recover uh, recover uh, dedicated solutions at least. Um, uh, a bit, uh, because I don't think it is possible to match uh, full year uh, results in dedicated uh, solutions. I mean, to match uh, last year, it's it's already not not possible. But as for payment, um, payment and banking, um, we are not worried for for Q4. Okay, so um, this is about results. Do you have any question? Not, uh, you can write on uh, on chat or Q and A or raise hand and we will open voice. Um, maybe in, in meantime, a few words about India and Dubai. So um, purely financial results, we um, we are pretty satisfied after the first quarter. Uh, managers uh, uh, leading the business, they believe following quarters might be even better than uh, than um, uh, Q3 because um, there is kind of seasonality in India when uh, Q4 uh, calendar Q4 and Q1 uh, are good uh, good quarters for payment. There are some um, one of transactions uh, which are processed. Let's see. We, we we try to be conservative, more conservative than uh, than the ones who who, who manage. Uh, but uh, but it looks uh, okay. Of course, a lot of uh, work to integrate to 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 align with uh, with our group with Payton, the way of uh, thinking, communicating, uh, running the business setup, but. Uh, all this, uh, what is good for now goes uh, goes pretty well. There is openness to to, to cooperate, and uh, yeah, uh, we uh, we are focusing now now on this. Okay, so if there if there are no no questions, and then thank you for uh, for joining. Uh, 
if you want to 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 um, to ask some questions one on one, please call us, uh, ask for a call or write email. We will be happy to 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 answer. Thank you. Goodbye.